Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. Now today I am going to tell you regarding the pie chart. Like we had already seen regarding the pie chart in the previous video. But now today I will be telling you that how you can make different uh, shapes of pie chart. Like different sizes of the pie chart. How you can put out the labels inside that. All those things that today I will be telling you regarding the pie chart. Right? So let me just do one thing here. Let me quickly write out the text as well. So that it is easier for us to understand that what actually are we talking about today. Right? I would just write here pie chart and features. Okay, let me just put out the heading like this pie chart, pie chart and features. Right, let's let's get started with this particular thing. So as you know that we are dealing with a matplotlib library. So what my first step would be, I'd be importing out my matplotlib.pipe.library. Okay, that's the first thing that I would be doing out here. Um, right here. Okay, let me start writing out here as well. So we'll be discussing about all the rest of the things within the video itself. Okay, so I would just write here import that would be matplotlib matplotlib dot plot as plt. Okay, import matplotlib dot plot as plt. This is this is my library that I am actually importing, which is matplotlib dot plot, and I have given it a short form as plt. Right now. As I will be taking my data on my own, right? I will just not uh, use any particular data set here. So that even if you just want to use out from your end, you can just write out this program and try this as well. But if I just try it on our data, so in that case, you need to download that data and there are several things which you need to do out, right? So I would not be taking any particular data. So let's say I'll be taking the same example which I have taken in the previous video and I'll be enhancing that pie chart only, right? So let's say my Okay, my variable name is fruits and into that I would be storing out some fruits. Let's say first one is apple. Let's say second I have banana and let's say on the third place I have let's say oranges and let's say on the fourth place I have grapes. Okay, so these are the four fruits which I am actually plotting out here. Let's say take it as an example that let's say I done on the survey in any school and from that I had just got out a percentage the number of students that actually eat out this particular fruit okay so okay this one fruits is done so after that i'll be giving out as another variable as number okay fine into that i'll be making out a list and i'll be storing out different different fractions for each and every. let's say for one i am storing as let's say i am having for apple let's say i'm having 20 for let's say banana i am having 15 then let's say I am having here as 40, so okay, 40 to 60 and 70, 75. Now let's left to 25. Okay. Right. Now just please make sure to remember one very important thing here that whenever you just take out whatever your numbers you just put out for labels which you are having, that should actually have a sum of 100, not less than 100 and not greater than 100. It should equal to be 100. Okay. So that is the like whole of the pie chart. It will be plotted when you are sum of all the numbers sum of all the labels sum of all the percentages which you are taking that is be that is actually 100 so in that case it will be giving you the correct pie chart as an output to you right so always make sure to take out the numbers keep them in a such a fraction that sum of all of them come to be 100 only and this is done now what i would just do is that i'll be making out the figure and the x so for that i'll be taking fig okay that is fig comma and here goes the excel so fig and excel are actually made and into that i'm writing out plt dot um, plt dot subplots and i'll be giving out dimension okay now here we just give out dimensions actually let me put out this and i would two rows and two columns so remember that once we had dealt out with the histogram as well so in that as well we had taken out the two dimensions two cross two we had taken right so in that we were having four places that was zero 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 one one zero and one one these were the four places which we were having and onto these four places different different histograms were appearing so same procedure we are going to apply today as well that i'm just going to take four uh, pie charts here and all those pie, four pie charts will be having some different shapes so that uh, sorry not the different shape shape would be same that a circle only different size will be having okay and that will be at the four places right now what i would just do is that i'll be making out the first of uh, very first one that was a zero zero Okay, for that I'll be writing x's and into the packet I'll be writing 0, 0. Okay, so I'm just putting out this plot at the x, so that is 0, 0. What I want to make, I want to make out a pie chart. So I just sort of put out a dot and wrote the pie into the bracket. Okay, instead of number, let me just take it to as value. So that is the like um, 
a more clearable uh, variable name. So I would just write here as values, okay, values, come on. Now, what about my labels? So for the labels, actually, I have fruits, okay, fruits is the variable. Uh, in that, I have stored out my label. So I just put out that thing here. Put out a comma and I would just write auto PCT. That is also auto percentage, right? We had we had already discussed about this auto PCT in the previous video. So that is basically help us to write and put out the things inside the labels, right? So this is the what the auto PCT is used for. So we have different different pies in a pie chart, right? So number of values you are gonna give, the number of pies you are not going to get. So we just want to write out these values inside the pies as well. So for that we just use out this auto PCT. Okay, like this, I'll be putting out the percent. I would just write 1.1x. Okay, this is one value which we actually have for the auto PCT. Okay, double percent, we just put it out here. Okay, this is done. And now, what uh, let's, I would do, I would just put out the shadow. So, shadow would be, I just want it to be there. So, I would just put out there as true. Fine. Right, so this I have made out for my x is 0, 0. Right now, it's the time for the x is 0, 1. So, we just write your x is and it goes 0, 1. Put out a dot here and now I would be just using out the pi. Right now, what are the values? So, in that case, I'd be putting out the variable which is values in which I have stored out all of the values for this particular pi chart. What about my labels? Labels will also remain same that is fruits. Right now, what about the auto PCT? That is auto PCT. Now, this value actually will change here. Okay, that will actually and it, this is the value only which will be giving me the increase and the decrease in the size of the pie chart. Right, so I've just put out a here percent, I've write 0 0.0f and that goes percent percent, right? Like this, it will be actually there. Right, now what I would just do after this, I'll put out a comma and here I'll be writing shadow is equal to and I would just put out here as true, right? So true, I have done. Now, I have even one another parameter. Let me put out a comma and we have explode. Now, we remember we had already discussed about the explode in the previous video. Let me give you an overview that what does that actually meant. So, explode actually meant that let's say we are having whole pie chart on to like uh, inscribed in one each other. Let's say I just want one of the pie to come a little bit of outside from that particular uh, pie chart right so in that case we just use out this explode okay i would just write 0 comma let's say i would just want 0 0.1 comma 0 comma 0 right this is how we just put out the values for the explode okay when i would just run out this program then you'll be getting the more clear idea that what i just meant from this explode actually okay right so this one is done now i had made out for 0 comma 1 fine now what i would just do is that i would be putting out the radius and the text file size for the smaller pie right Okay, uh, for that, I'll be writing some uh, first of all variables. That is, first of all, I have patches, then I have actually text, and then I have auto auto text. Right, these are the three ones which I would be using out here. Put is equal to sign, and I'll be using out the x's. So that is a x's, x's, right? Put out a com zero, and my x is now zero comma one because for zero zero we have done for zero one, or uh, we have done now it's a term to one comma zero. I put out that thing, put out a dot and use here the pie bracket. I have your values. Then what about my labels? So in my labels, I have fruits. That is done. Okay, one second. So here, right? Put out a comma. Now I have auto PCT. I have auto PC that is auto percentage. Put out a percent sign. I'm writing here 0. Point, uh, Okay, that is not zero point, that is point zero F and again double percent, right? That I have done out here. Now, what about the another thing that I have put out a comma? What about the text prop? Text prop, that is my text proportions actually, okay? Text props is actually my text proportions. So in that, I want the size to now be smaller. Okay, so in that case, I just put out the size as a smaller, fine? Put out a comma here. What about my shadow? So I want my shadow to be true, okay? And last parameter I am having as a radius. So, what about the radius? I just want the radius to be 0 0.5. Right? That I have done out here, fine? This is the thing that I have completed. Now, what I would just do after this is that I would be taking the next thing, right? So, here I'm writing, uh, I just make the percentage even smaller, okay? Just making the percentage even smaller. 
Fine. Service writing plt dot set t. Okay, plt dot set t. Put out the bracket, and it will be using auto text. Okay. Okay. Just one second. Yes, plt dot set p auto text. Put out a comma here. Now I'll be using the size is equal to, and right here x r is smaller. Fine. This is the size which I had put out to you. Now what about my auto text? Okay, auto text into the bracket I'll be writing zero dot set. And after this, basically what I have, I'll be setting out a particular color. Okay. So let's say that my text color I have set it out as um, white. Fine, that I have done. Now I'd be using again for using out the for making out the one comma one. Fine, so let's do that thing. Okay, now what I would just do that I would just copy out this whole line, this particular line which in which I have declared out the like made out the one comma one because the sorry one comma zero because this is the same thing which I'd be doing for the one comma one as well. Some things actually change that I would be telling you what to change out here. Patches takes out the text will remain same instead of the zero here one comma one will come. After that values are same. I have labels as fruits. Then I have auto PCT will remain same. Text will remain same. Shadow will remain same. Okay, shadow will remain same. Okay, just one second. Radius will actually be remain same. Now I have just one more thing to add here that is explode. Okay, explode is equal to zero comma let's say zero point. 0, 0.5 comma 0 comma 0. Fine, explode also. I have this added out here. Fine. Again, I'll be setting up the PLT. So that is PLT dot set P. Into the bracket, I have auto text comma. What about my size? So size would be again uh, X is smaller. Right? Come on to a new line here. I would be using here auto text, okay, auto text. It's a bracket. I'll be using zero dot. What about the set colors? I'll be using set underscore color as uh, white, right? And I just use that out. It's simple as I'll be using plt dot show and the bracket. Okay, just one second. Let me remove this thing, extra thing from here. Um, right now it's the time for running out the program. Fine, we're just getting some error that um. Uh, okay, it is during and uh, okay, that is could not convert this into full float x is smaller. Okay, okay, so that is actually size, a size that e fine. Now, basically, okay, it is again giving me something. Let me see that what is giving me. So, size is equal to x is smaller. Okay, plt dot set p that is okay. We have auto text, comma, size is equal to x is small. We have not x is smaller. Um, it's small and here also it's small not small okay fine now basically we just got out our pie chart which we had made it right now just have a look that it is giving me at four positions right first position is zero 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 one we have one zero and one one fine so first uh, two are coming absolutely same only difference is that here this one is the exploded that is this coming the spy is coming a little bit of outside and these two are having the same like same thing and only this thing is coming outside this uh, like the spy is coming outside only this is the difference between these right so this is how actually you can make out the uh, pie charts with of different shapes and at different positions as well putting out the labels and everything in a proper way right this is how you can just make out the pie chart right so i hope i just made this thing very much clear to you that how you can make out this type of pie chart multiple pie charts into one program only Right, so this is all for this video. Till then, thank you and take care.